Hey guys, welcome to another episode of VTech Academy. You're about to get school. All right, uh, I don't usually do a product showcase, uh, and I'd like to actually think of this more as a quick tip. Uh, we've got our engine that's going in, our Project Prelude, and uh, it's got a little bit of work to it, and I don't want to waste that money. Uh, if you notice here, uh, even though this is a K20Z3, we've done the Type S uh, oil pump conversion. One of the other things we're doing, and in order to ensure that we get good oiling on this engine, is we're using an oil baffle. We decided to use a steel pan, and there's not a lot of places you can get an oil baffle for a steel pan. The one place you can is a company called Tractuff. Tractuff makes this for both the aluminum pan and also for the steel pan, and the price ranges uh, about 330 bucks if you have them put it in a brand new pan, and uh, let's see here, probably around, uh, oh, I'm sorry, it's about $425 if you have them put it in a brand new pan. I think the new pan alone is over $250. And then $330 um, if you want to have it installed in your dirty pan. Uh, or if you send them a brand new pan, they'll install it for about $280. Anyway, we sent them a dirty pan, which we cleaned meticulously per their instructions. And uh, they welded in this really cool baffle. Let me show you how it works. So we have this large horizontal plate right here, and that's mostly to keep oil from sloshing under heavy braking or acceleration. And actually, under heavy braking is when you're going to experience the most G's. So this keeps the oil from sloshing around. It's actually at about the four quart level. It also has this opening right here, and this is for the pickup. The, the oil opening can vary depending on what type of uh, oil pump you have. This particular one is designed for the Type S oil pump. Now, underneath this horizontal plate are two side plates, and these plates help on cornering. There's one on each side, and these are designed with gates in here that allow oil to flow into the middle where the pickup is, but they close if the oil tries to flow out. One of the big problems with a K-Series engine is under heavy right-hand cornering, what winds up happening is the oil tends to slosh over to this side of the pan and kind of run up on this kind of stepped area. With these gates in here, that prevents that from happening. We actually damaged a couple of engines due to that problem. We started off by putting an extra quart of oil in and that helped quite a bit. But as we got more and more traction with better tires, we noticed we actually had to also put baffles in the pan. This particular one is the only one though that I know of that's available for the steel pan. These baffles come in multiple configurations. Not only do they come for the steel oil pan, but they also come available for the aluminum oil pan. They even come for the gangsterling pans. So gangsterling, gangsterling. Gangsterling pans. The gangsterling pans, the ones that have been modified for the engines that tilt forward in a lot of the drag cars. They also need a baffle in order to keep the oil where it needs to be, particularly with the reduced volume of those oil pans. It takes about two weeks to do it. They're all handmade by uh, Robert there at Tractuff. Anyway, uh, if you want to check them out, it's T-R-A-C-T-U-F-F dot com. Anyway, thanks for joining us. That's been your quick tip slash product spotlight. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And uh, click on the bell to let you know when we have more quick tips coming up. One of the next ones coming up is going to be how to do this RSX Type S oil pump conversion. And if you have a chance, head on over to the VTech Academy website at vtech.academy or vtechacademy.com and check out some of the merchandise we have. We have some pretty cool t-shirts and anything you buy actually helps us uh, support the channel. Thanks for joining me. We'll talk to you later.